Greetings, boys and girls. It is now time for phonics. Today, we're going to review some familiar sounds. Sound. Ah. Which ah, boys and girls? Single A says ah. Sound. T. Sound. Er. Word. Rat. What does the word say now, boys and girls, if I change the T to an N? Ran. Very good. If I change the N to a G, what sound does the G make? Yes, G. So what is the new word? Rag. Excellent job. Let's say I change the G to NG. What word do I have now? Yes, ANG says ang. Rang. Great job, boys and girls. Sound. Ah. Which ah? Single H says ah. Sound. T. Sound. Fool. Word, flat. The hat was flat. Now I'm going to change the T to a P. Can you read the new word? Yes, flap. The bird will flap its wings. Going to add a new ending on this word, boys and girls. What does the word say now? That's right, flap. The bird flapped its wings. Remember, you don't hear the E in ED after a P. You do hear the E after a T or a D. Let's read the next word. Sound. Ah. Which ah, boys and girls? Single A says ah. Sound. D. Sound. P. Word. Pad. The frog jumped onto the lily pad. Sound. S word pass. Please pass the ketchup. Now, what does the word say when I add ed? Yes, passed. She passed the ketchup to me. Let's try another ending. What does the word say now? Yes, past. I thought about what happened in the past. Great job, boys and girls. Let's continue. Sound. Ah. Which ah, boys and girls? Single eight says ah. Sound. N. Mm. Sound. P. Word. Fan. Please use the fan to cool yourself off. When I change the N to a T, what is our new word? That's right. Fat. If I add an S before the T, what does the new word say? Fast. The girl ran fast. I'm going to add an ending, ER. Do you know what ER says? That's right, er. Read the new word, faster. Very good. Sound. Ah. Which ah, boys and girls?
single H says ah. Sound, m. Mm. Sound, p. Sound, d. Word, damp. Very good, boys and girls. Now I'm going to add an ending. E -N and the E is a one dotted E. Remember, one dotted E says a. Uh. Word, dampen. She will dampen the towel. Great job, boys and girls. Sound, E. Which E? E A says E. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Sound, er. Sound, s. The next letter is a one dotted O. Can you remember what one dotted O sounds like? That's right, one dotted O says uh. Next letter. Sound, n. Mm. Word, reason. She had a reason to shout. Sound, or. Which or, boys and girls? O R says or. Sound, n. Mm. Sound, <sighs> word. Let's take off the H. Take off the N and add an F to the beginning of the word. Word. Four. Will you tie that shoe for me? Let's change it again. I'm going to change the F to an M and put an E at the end. Word. More. Very good, boys and girls. I have more food. Sound. Er. Which er, boys and girls? You are, says er. Sound. Sound. The two ers just make one sound. Er. Word, purr. The kitten will purr at night. Sound, er. Which er, boys and girls? You are, says er. Sound, mmm. Sound, t. What word do we have so far? Turn. Very good, boys and girls. Sound, i. Sound, p. Word, turnip. We ate turnip greens last night for dinner. Sound, a. Which a, boys and girls? A, I says a. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Sound, drrr. Sound, n. Mm. Word, drain. The water will go down the drain. Sound, a. Which a, boys and girls? A, I says a. Because when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Sound, er. Sound, s. Word, raise. Please raise the flag. Remember, boys and girls, an E at the end of a word does not make a sound.
it is silent. Okay, boys and girls, let's sing our sounds. A and G says ang and the word is rang. Single A says a ah, and the word is flapped. Single A says a ah, and the word is passed. Single A says a ah, and the word is faster. One dotted E says a uh, and the word is dampened. One dotted O says a uh, and the word is O-R says or and the word is more. U-R says er and the word is per. U-R says er and the word is turnip. A-I says a and the word is drain. A-I says a and the word is raise. Sound, ang, word, rain. Sound, ah, word, flat. Sound, ah. Word past sound a ah. word faster sound a uh. word dampen sound a uh. word reason sound or word more sound er word her sound er word turnip sound a word drain sound a word raise great job boys and girls now get your own sheet of paper and pencil out it is time to spell these words the first word is rat the rat ran across the floor say it rat tap it Rat. Now spell it. And you should have R A T. Can you change the word rat into the word ran? The girl ran across the street. That's right, your T should now be an N. Can you change the word ran into the word rag? Please dry your face with a rag. Yes, the N should now be a G. Can you change the word rag into rang? The doorbell rang. Yes, the G should now be N, then G. Great job, boys and girls. The next word is flat. The hat was completely flat. Say it, flat. Tap it, flat. Flat, now write it. And you should have F-L-A-T. Can you change the word flat into the word flap? The bird will flap its wings. That's right, the T should now be a P. Can you change the word flap into flap? The bird flapped its wings in the wind. That's right, P-E-D. Remember boys and girls, we need two P's to keep that E or that vowel signal from hitting the A. Remember, vowel signals can only jump backward over one letter, not two. If there were just one P here and then the ED, it would say flate. But since we added another P, that vowel signal E can only get to this P. And it doesn't change the vowel sound, ah. Great job, boys and girls. Let's continue. The next word is pad. Please pass me the pad of paper. Say it, 
had. Tap it. P add. Pad. Now write it. And you should have P A D. Pad. Can you change the word pad into the word pass? Please pass me the ball. Yes, the D should turn into two S's. Now, can you change the word pass into passed? She passed me the ball. Yes, just add E D. Now, can you change the word passed into the word past? She read a book about the past. Yes, take off the extra S E D and add a T. The next word is fan. She used a fan to keep her cool. Say it, fan. Tap it, f an, fan. Now write it. And you should have f a n. Can you change the word fan into the word fat? The strawberry was very fat and juicy. That's right, change the N into a T. Now, can you change the word fat to say fast? The boy ran fast. Yes, ST should be at the end of the word fast. Now, can you change the word fast to say faster? That's right, just add E-R. Great job, boys and girls. The next word is damp. The ground was damp from the rain. Say it, damp. Tap it, d -amp. Damp. Now write it. And you should have D A M P. Now, can you change the word damp to say dampen? I will dampen the rag for you. That's right, add E N, and that's a one dotted E. Great job, boys and girls. The next word is reason. Say it, reason. Tap it, reason, reason. She had a reason for learning how to read well. And you should have R-E-A-S-O-N. And that's a one dotted O, so make sure you're coding it. Reason. And when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Great job, boys and girls. The next word is or. Will you take this or that? Say it, or. Tap it, or, or. Now write it. And you should have O, R. Can you change the word or into four? Yes, add an F to the beginning of O, R, and now you have four. 
I will wait for her. Can you change the word for into the word horn? Dizzy Gillespie played his horn. Say it, horn. Tap it, horn. Horn. Now write it. Yes, the F turns into an H and an N belongs at the end of the word. Now, can you spell the word more? I want more ice cream. Say it, more. Tap it, mm or more. Now write it. And you should have M-O-R-E, more. The next word is her. The cat will her when she sees her kittens. Say it, her. Tap it, her, her. Now write it. And you should have P U R R. Now, can you spell the word turnip? I ate turnip greens for dinner. Say it, turnip. Tap it, t er. Now write it. And you should have T U R N I P. Turnip. Great job, boys and girls. Let's try two more words. The next word is drain. The marble went down the drain. Say it. Drain. Tap it. Drain. Drain. Now write it. And you should have D R A I N. And remember, when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. Great job, boys and girls. And the last word is raise. Please raise your hand before you speak. Say it, raise. Tap it, raise. Raise. Now write it. And you should have R A I S E. And remember, when two vowels go walking, the first vowel does the talking, and an E at the end doesn't say a word. Now, boys and girls, let's write a dictation sentence. The horn rang out loud. Can you say that with me? The horn rang out loud. Pause the video and write your sentence. Welcome back. And you should have capital T-H-E horn rang out loud. Did you get everything correct? Is your period at the end? Great job. Now we're going to finish up our phonics lesson, boys and girls, with a reading passage. First, I'm going to read the passage to you. Then you can pause the video and read it again on your own. Here we go. The Two Weasels and the 
bat. A weasel trapped a little bat. This weasel liked to eat birds. I think you are a bird, said the weasel. No, said the bat, hiding his wings. See my face? I have teeth like the mice. In that case, I will free you, said the weasel, and he did. Soon, another weasel trapped the little bat. This weasel ate only mice. Don't eat me, said the bat. I'm like the birds. He flapped his wings. In that case, you may go, said the weasel. The bat flew happily away. Now it's your turn to read the passage, boys and girls. Pause the video and have fun reading. Welcome back, boys and girls. Can you think of a moral to this story? Remember, a story can have more than one moral, but it teaches you a lesson that can help you in your life. Also remember that a moral of this story has nothing to do with the weasel and the cat. What did you learn from the weasel? And what did you learn from the bat? Well, a moral that I take away from this story is, always make sure you have all of the information. Can you think of a different moral? I'll see you next time.